So if you're ever in the mood for um, truth being stranger than science fiction, take a look at quantum theory. Quantum theory to me is the intersection of, I think, uh, physics and chemistry is one way to look at it, I think. Quantum theory has a lot of uh, legs to it, but one of the legs actually talks about how an atom is arranged. And of course, part of how an atom is arranged is how the electrons are what we say hanging out or configured. So according to quantum theory, these, these S-type subshells that we've talked about will have only one orbital. Now, this is exactly what we talked about earlier. A P-type subshell will have three orbitals, a D-type subshell will have five orbitals, and an F-type subshell will have seven orbitals. Simply put, and this is if you're a visual person, this is kind of how I think of it, when we got clear up to n is equal to 4, we had these four types of subshells, didn't we? We had a 4s, and we just had one box. We had a 4p, each box is an orbital. We had three boxes. We had a 4d, we had five boxes, okay, and we had a 4f. That gives us seven boxes. So all this is saying is that um, there are rules to um, where electrons can be. There are rules to electron orbitals, and these are the rules about these types of subshells. Let's see how far did I want to go? Oh yeah, I just want to go to the next one. Okay, so for a given energy level. Um, it, and this actually is consistent with what I just said a minute ago. If we pick on n is equal to 4, we finally get the f-type subshell. For with, so within n is equal to 4, um, s is going to be your lowest, then p is above that energy-wise, d is above that, and f is above that. So put another way, the way this is written, is we have increasing energy as you're going down. This is assuming the same n, the same principal energy level.